Today, I'm joined by James Humphrey Stone, who is co-founder of The Avenue, a self-employed estate agency model. I've asked him to talk about various different things about um, a state agency, but always at the end of these conversations, someone who comes along always has an opportunity to do an out and out promo video for their business. So I'm giving him the opportunity to do this video today. He has paid me no money or given me any consideration to be here as anyone who sits on the walking sofa is totally at my own expense. But at the end of the day, if he's come all the way from, from deepest Derbyshire, I've got to give him an opportunity. <laughs> so here's his opportunity. So James, talk to me about the Avenue. So the Avenue, we launched two years ago. The idea was to create a self-employed brokerage that performs and operates in the mid to upper end of the marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, our biggest aspiration was to help individuals earn what they, I believe they're truly worth, but to also create, it's this uh, age old, almost unicorn in the industry of work-life balance. Can it exist? Oh, not another bloody self-employed stage to see model where I can be at my child's nativity play and go and watch their sports day and roll my eyes. Yep. Next, next, you're going to tell me that everyone gets a cut of the commission and they're going to be on sales ploys. Is that right? <laughs> Sorry. No, no. But in the short term, it, it, it is true. In the short term, if people are prepared to put in the hard yards, yes. the medium to longer term can give them the ability of choice. Okay, fair goes. But what makes you different? What makes the avenue different? So we are big advocates for blending estate agency brand with personal brand. Okay. So as we said in a, in a prior video, it's about being able to give people the reassurance that they have a brand behind them that has recognition in their community through the way in which we market ourselves, but also helping and supporting them to grow their own personal brand alongside it. So the, the net result of that is that they've got the bigger picture of the, the, the avenue behind them, but then their own personal brand in their community. So a great example of that is Emma Nugent, who's been with us pretty much from the get-go. Emma, mum of three, worked at Purple Bricks before. Best month she ever earned any money at Purple Bricks, 1,600 pounds. She's now operating with us and is a six-figure agent and is still able to be a, a, a mum of three. So, but she's created a fantastic personal brand, but leveraged against the estate agency brand that the Avenue has. Behind the scenes, we also recognize that there's a lot that goes into running a self-employed business that a lot of people won't have learned in traditional or online models. How to run your business from a financial standpoint, how to reinvest, um, how to generate leads and opportunities. So we've created an online hub. At the minute, we have over 70 videos within the hub that all of our partner agents have access to that can help them set their foundations up to launch their business in the right way. Marketing is huge for us. So we give marketing support from a videography point of view, helping them build their, again, their personal brand. Um, and we will give them support and advice on how to leverage social media. So a lot of what they can do can cost them absolutely nothing. What percentage fee do you take? So the agents retain 75% of the fee. So 75% fee, better training, a, a, a blended brand, personal brand, uh, good training, there's one thing that you haven't mentioned because a lot of people ask me, cool. a lot of people ask me who the best self-employed estate agency model is. Okay. And the reply I always give is the personal relationship that you have with the broker. Okay. What are you going to offer people on a one-to-one -one Zoom or face-to-face, -face, you and your team? What am I getting? Accountability, mindset, all that shit, which is not shit, by the way. No, no, no. But what are you bringing to the party? Because that is, that is the big thing for me. Do you know what? It's a, it's a great challenge to propose. And I suppose that's one that I've potentially overlooked in the conversation in the fact that the avenue was never designed to be an all singing uh, mass market operation. We never intended to be, you know, the biggest player because it would be a complete contradiction when i'm saying pie charts and market share is unimportant and then we have to be the number one you know we're not interested in being number one or fastest growing okay. or whatever other title okay people band around answer the question it's about the tightness of the relationship within the group oh. so jack and i have always maintained that we want to remain close with our partners to be able to give them that support because that's a criticism of one of the bigger brands at right the moment. okay 
So, okay, fine. So for us, it's about being able to have that. And like you say, that accountability, the coaching. So I quite regularly will have coaching calls with our existing partners. I have some that reach out to me just to go, I had a crap day. Can you, can we, can we talk it through? Um, and, and I really like that. That's really important. So if ever we lost sight of that, I would want to be pulled by the partners because it is a partnership. It's not a dictatorship. We're not telling them how to deliver their social media content. We're giving them a direction. And if they choose to follow it, fantastic. Thank you for your time today. As I said, no payments have been received for this. Anyone that sits on the Watkins sofa is always here at my own expense and time, but it was only fair that I give James an opportunity to talk about what, um, what the Avenue did. Thank you for your time today. Do check out the other videos just to get a bit more to find out a bit what makes James tick. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me.